Take two. Take two. I'm back with our water. Trying to feed our plants. There's a few things we do is make sure first that you're drawing from a clean water source. And check the pH balance. If it's really off, you're going to want to adjust it. That's a big issue, or can be a big issue, in rural, rural areas. Once you do that, um, I generally start adding uh, a couple of nutrients. The first two that I add together in sequence are uh, the silica and CalMag. CalMag I'll use well into flour before I'll stop using it. And on the silica, I just use up to flour. After that, I don't use silica at all. That's me. Once that's added to the water, the water is shaken to make sure that you've got good mixture. Once I do that, then I'll move to a couple, the next two items that are put in together, which is rock salt. And uh, I use dextrose powder. A lot of people use different sugars. Um, you know, it's up to you what you use. And I, I used other things. I've tried other, other things. This is just something that I've been on for quite some time. Cut. Next two items to be added will be rock salt. And I use dextrose powder. But you can use any sugar that you like. That's totally up to you. Rock salt is no, no more than a pinch to a, a, a gallon. And the dextrose, I'll generally add one teaspoon. Now, you, it's easier if you use just a common house teaspoon, but this is just what I've got here on the table right now. Um, basically, just level it off and drop it in. Something too cooperative, must be damp. This I'm not too concerned about. There's plenty of, even though I'm spilling it all over hell, there's uh, plenty getting in there, and I will compensate a little bit because I think it was just lost. Okay, once I've added the, the salts and the sugar, Shake up that bottle well before I start adding my nutrients. And depending upon where you're at in, in the sequence of life of your plant determines what nutrients you are in. This recipe that I'm using is currently week three, the end of week three going into week four. At this point, I'm using 12 mils of each of my products, which the ones that I'm using are advanced nutrients. Um, it's Grow, Micro, and Bloom. Let me get this water shaken up. Take my cap on. Water all over. Okay, that's well shaken. And at this point, 
you know, like I said, I'm at week three, end of week three, going into week four. And what I need is 12 mils of each of them. Grow, micro, and boom. And that's just how I add them to grow, micro, boom. I don't know that there's any sequence necessary. Make sure you shake them up as well. And I do this because these just came off the shelf and I might have bought them a year ago. Bought them quite a while ago. Thing that I'd recommend is that you get a syringe 60 mils I generally do five gallons at a time uh, 60 mil syringe works really well it's for single use of course um, and I've been using this one a number of years and we're just looking for 12 mils So we got we got 12 mils just under and we'll shoot that into the water put a little more out of the rinse water here and I don't contaminate that's the point that I'd make too is I keep water handy uh, so that I rinse out my syringe in between dipping in between the various products so I don't contaminate my products I suggest you do the same you can certainly have separate syringes in them if you want I believe the micro is open already I've been out of the micro for a while and here again another 12 mils Shows 12 mils. And we'll do all set. Rinse off the syringe. Quit spraying the shit around. If you rinse these out and you shake them out, make sure you put your finger over the hole because it is large enough for it to uh, spray shit everywhere. And the last is Bloom. Give it a good shake. Same deal, only 12 mils. that you can't see the numbers anymore. That's the point you'll want a new syringe, in my opinion. Here again, 12 mils. And we'll add that to our water. Suck up a little rinse water. And shake. And it's rinsing out the syringe. Add to my feed. In case there are any contaminants, it can be added. One last rinse. And I changed the water that I use each time I'm doing a feed. Let's throw it in there. I'm going to put it back in because I don't have to change that water yet. Um, don't last very long so don't count on them being uh, 
not spilling or anything when you put the top on to shake it. Cover it with a rag so you don't get all the feet everywhere. Don't take much of a shit. Just to make sure that all the nutrients are well circulated. And we're now ready to feed. Like I said, I use advanced nutrients currently that is not restrictive. I'm not restrictive of anything. I have a lot of favorites. One of my other favorites is Humboldt's Secret. Uh, that is an exceptional product line. And I still use their flower stacker, even in conjunction with these others. So, uh, when I go back to their line, that's one of my favorite I would encourage you uh, to utilize as much of this or as little of this as you see fit. I thank you for stopping by. I bid you peace. Have a great day from White Air.